To be a master of Lego stop motion, you must learn some fundamental concepts that underlie all types of animation. Today, we are proud to present not one, but two of these concepts. Ease in, ease out, and walk cycles. First up, ease in, ease out. See here, when objects move, they don't move at a fixed rate. That would look weird. See how the ball slows down as it reaches the height of its arc, then speeds up as it accelerates in the fall? As an animator, this means you need to gradually use less frames as the objects start to move and accelerate, and gradually use more frames of a subject as it slows down and comes to a stop. Ease into the movement, and ease out of the movement. If you don't do this, your animation is going to look stiff and lifeless. Much better. You'll find that ease in, ease out applies to all sorts of movements, from bouncing balls to throwing a punch. Next, walk cycles. It's just what it sounds like, an animation loop of how your character walks. Your characters will be doing a good bit of walking, so it's good to get this basic technique down. There are many different ways you can animate a Lego minifigure's walk cycle. Here is a basic one for animation shot at 15 frames per second. In the first frame, you have the leaning foot about to come off the ground. In the second frame, you have the minifigure balance between the two feet. Third frame, the front foot is now fully down on the ground, and the back foot is about to come off of it. Fourth frame, the back foot is now on the ground with the front foot. Repeat the process, starting with the back foot moving first, and voila! That's the stuff! Once you get walking done, you can also create animations for running. You'll be using walk cycles a lot in your animations. There you have it! Ease in, ease out, and walk cycles. Two more tools in your animator's tool belt. Now get out there and use them!